Hello, I am Gopagumar. Welcome to your math tutor. Here we focus on helping you to solve the problems in engineering mathematics in the easiest possible way from an exam point of view. If you are interested in theory, then check out NP10. Hello friends. Here we are going to learn how to solve the differential equation of Cauchy Euler form. Here we have x square d square y by dx square minus x dy by dx plus 4y is equal to cos log x plus x sin log x. Now the question is how do we identify if the equation is of Cauchy Euler form. In Cauchy Euler form, dy by dx term will have x as coefficient and d square y by dx square term will have x square as coefficient. This is how we identify the given equation is of Cauchy Euler form. Here in this question, d square y by dx square has x square as coefficient, dy by dx has x as coefficient. Therefore, this is Cauchy Euler equation. Now just put x is equal to a raised to z, z is equal to log x and replace x d by dx with d dash x square d square by dx square with d dash into d dash minus 1. Here in this question, replace x square d square y by dx square with d dash into d dash minus 1 minus replace x dy by dx with d dash plus 4 into y is equal to, we know that z is equal to log x. Therefore, cos log x becomes cos z and x is equal to erase to z and z is equal to log x. Then x sin log x can be written in the form e raised to z into sin z. d dash is multiplied with d dash minus 1. Then we get d dash square minus d dash minus d dash plus 4 into y is equal to cos z plus e raised to z sin z. that is equal to d dash square minus d dash minus d dash becomes minus 2 d dash plus 4 into y is equal to cos z plus e raised to z sin z. Now we have to find the solution of y y will always be the sum of complementary function plus particular integral. Now let us find the complementary function. For that we have to find the auxiliary equation of d dash square minus 2 d dash plus 4 into y is equal to cos z plus e raised to z sin z. For finding the auxiliary equation we only need to substitute a variable instead of d dash. Here we are using m. Then we get the auxiliary equation as m square minus 2m plus 4 is equal to 0. After solving the quadratic equation, m square minus 2m plus 4 is equal to 0. We get the roots 
m is equal to 1 plus or minus i root 3. We know that the general form of the complex number is alpha plus i beta. Here alpha is equal to 1, beta is equal to root 3. Here we have the complex roots. Therefore, to find the complementary function, we use the formula e raised to alpha z into c1 cos beta z plus c2 sin beta z. Substitute alpha is equal to 1 and beta is equal to root 3 in the formula. We get the complementary function as e raised to z into c1 cos root 3 z plus c2 sin root 3 z. Now we have to convert the complementary function from z to x terms. We know that x is equal to e raised to z and z is equal to log x. Then e raised to z becomes x into c1 cos root 3 z becomes c1 cos root 3 log x plus c2 sin root 3 z becomes c2 sin root 3 log x. Now we have to find the particular integral of the differential equation d dash square minus 2d dash plus 4 into y is equal to cos z plus e raised to z sin z. Now the particular integral 1 is equal to 1 by d dash square minus 2d dash plus 4 cos z. Here the coefficient of z in cos z is 1. Therefore, we replace d square with negative of square of 1, that is minus 1. After replacing d dash square with minus 1, we get the particular integral as 1 by minus 1 minus 2d dash plus 4 cos z, which is equal to 1 by minus 1 plus 4 becomes 3 and minus 2d dash cos z. Now the conjugate of 3 minus 2d which is 3 plus 2d is multiplied with numerator and denominator then 1 by 3 minus 2d dash cos z becomes 3 plus 2d dash by 3 minus 2d dash into 3 plus 2d dash cos z. Then the particular integral is equal to 3 plus 2d dash by 3 minus 2d dash into 3 plus 2d dash becomes 9 minus 4d square cos z which is equal to 3 plus 2d dash by 9 minus here the coefficient of z and cos z is 1. Therefore, we replace d square with a negative of square of 1 that is minus 1. Then minus 4 d square becomes minus 4 into minus 1 cos z which is equal to cos z is multiplied with each term in numerator. Then we get 3 cos z plus 2 into derivative of cos z by 13 that is equal to 1 by 13 into 3 cos z plus 2 into derivative of cos z is minus sin z therefore we get the particular integral as 1 by 13 into we know that z is equal to log x then 3 cos z becomes 3 cos log x minus 2 sin z becomes minus 2 sin log x. Now we need to find the particular integral 2 which is equal to 1 by d dash square minus 2d dash plus 4 
erase to az sin az here we have the product of exponential function erase to az and trigonometric function sin az therefore we shift erase to az to the left of the term and add the coefficient of az in the exponential function erase to az that is 1 to each d dash terms in the denominator then the denominator becomes 1 by d dash plus 1 the whole square minus 2 into d dash plus 1 plus 4 sin z which is equal to e raised to z into 1 by d dash plus 1 the whole square becomes d dash square minus 2d dash plus 1 and minus 2d minus 2 plus 4 sin z minus 2d dash plus 2d dash become 0 then the particular integral is equal to e raised to z by d dash square plus 3 sin z that is equal to e raised to z into 1 by here the coefficient of z in sin z is 1 and replace d dash square with negative of square of 1 that is minus 1 and plus 3 sin z therefore we get the particular integral 2 as e raised to z by 2 sin z we know that e raised to z equal to x and z is equal to log x then particular integral 2 is equal to 1 by 2 into e raised to z becomes x and sin z becomes sin log x therefore the complete solution of y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral 1 plus particular integral 2 here the complementary function is x into c1 cos root 3 log x plus c2 sin root 3 log x and the particular integral 1 is 1 by 13 into 3 cos log x minus 2 sin log x and the particular integral 2 is 1 by 2 into x sin log x therefore the solution of y is x into c1 cos root 3 log x plus c2 sin root 3 log x plus 1 by 13 into 3 cos log x minus 2 sin log x plus 1 by 2 into x sin log x